Uh, my name is Vikas Gupta. I am the Senior Director of Product Management at Global Foundries. Uh, I'm focused on silicon photonics. And uh, 2022 has sort of been a pivotal year for us, uh, given the fact that we announced our, our GF Photonics platform at OFC earlier this year. So I wanted to just give you a, a brief update on that <clears throat> and then spend some time talking about the ecosystem. So Global Foundries is in the business of providing solutions rather than just technologies. And I wanted to uh, spend some time on the ecosystem. So GF Photonics uh, has been qualified. It is available for our data center customers. And as we had announced earlier, uh, we have some marquee name brands using this technology. And so we are continuing forward uh, with this technology as a platform in that uh, this will form the basis of future generations of silicon photonics. And I would say along two vectors. One is just you know, higher speeds that are required in data centers going from 100 gig to 200 gig per lambda. And, and then you know, ancillary markets that we had announced earlier, such as LiDAR and computing. So this is going to be sort of our platform, our foundation on which we will continue to build. So I think from, from, from a GF photonics uh, technology perspective, I think we're very proud of this technology and we're also seeing a lot of market adoption. So, uh, you know, goodness, goodness on the adoption of silicon photonics as a technology across the market. Uh, the other part which I wanted to talk about is just the ecosystem. In the past, I think also in the announcement, we had talked about EDA partners and that has continued to grow well. And you will see some of the sort of more advanced photonic features showing up in our PDKs, such as nonlinear effects at higher power and managing of reflection. So it's, it's important for us that our PDKs reflect what is happening on silicon to allow for our customers to, to design first time right circuits. I think that is uh, sort of a, adds to the strength of the technology. The other part of it is feedback from our customers. Uh, they are seeing you know, a, a lot of traction with OSATs who are now starting to show interest in packaging associated with silicon photonics. And that includes things like fiber attach and laser attach and 2.5D and 3D packaging. So, so the important part to understand is, you know, the technology itself <clears throat> is dependent on having a vibrant ecosystem. And, and we are starting to see uh, traction, not only in terms of the adoption of the technology, but also the adoption of uh, this, this sort of technology across OSATs. The other part, which I wanted to, an interesting sort of uh, turning of events that has occurred is uh, we, we have a lot of customers coming to us asking for, you know, pre-characterized uh, IP. So if you, if you draw that parallel to the electronic side, uh, there's, there's a large ecosystem of standards and libraries, CERDES IPs, et cetera, and, you know, higher order IP. And it's kind of interesting that customers are now starting to come to us asking us for these sort of pieces of IP, not only the electronic side, but on the photonic side. And that sort of opens up two opportunities. One is on the standardization. So there's a lot of effort now, uh, as you can see, whether it's the CXL or the UCI interfaces uh, that people are talking about. But I, I expect to see a lot more standardization even on the photonic side. But then from the business side, I think there's also a growing opportunity for you know, IP vendors to participate not, on the, not only on the electronic side, but also on the photonic side. So again, uh, this is actually a call to all the IP vendors who may be interested not only in doing IP for electronics, but also photonics. So in, in, in summary, I would say, uh, we're seeing a lot of market traction with the GF technology. But it's not just the market traction. Uh, it is also the ecosystem which is now starting to wake up and, and adopt this technology and embrace this technology. Thank you.